Hi and welcome to Next Edge. In this tutorial, you'll be joining me in a 10 minute leg workout that's gonna make you feel stronger than ever. So this workout consists of three exercises that we're gonna do today. The first one is going to be quick feet with a nice jump squat. The second one is gonna be some lunges also with a jump. And the third one is going to be lifting our legs, strengthening and being very secure holding over our legs. So what are we waiting for? Let's get started. Okay, so the first exercise that we're gonna do, we're gonna go running in place, a couple of runs, down to a jump squat. When we do that jump squat, we're gonna try to hit that 90 degree position, arms going back behind our body. That way we can push and vault through our toes. We're gonna do five of those, three sets. Okay, now we're ready for our first set. Now remember, I'm gonna be doing this right along with you, so I will definitely probably get puffed, but I will do my best to call out to where you can hear me. Okay, so we're gonna start with the running. I'm gonna keep my arms right in front of my body. So I'm gonna go run and down up. That's one, run again, two, three, four, last one, five. Excellent, good job, we only have two more sets. Now we're ready for our second set. Now I'm gonna turn my body so you can see it from a different angle. Again, when I'm doing this running in place, I'm really focusing on the ball of my foot, not being very heavy. I want this exercise is to keep you nice and light. So let's focus on that and let's do our second set. Here we go. And one, two, three, four, last one, five. Okay, now let's get our breathing under control and get ready for that last set. Okay, now we're ready for our last set. We're gonna make sure that we have nice, quick, light feet, trying to hit that 90 degree and explode through our toes and use those arms to also help us out. So here we go and let's go. Fast feet, down, up, fast feet, down, up, fast feet. This is three, fast feet, four, Last feet, last one, five. I don't know about you, but I can already feel the burning in my thighs, which is a great thing. So don't feel like, oh no, it's there's something wrong. No, it's just that your muscles are working, yeah? That's what we wanna feel with our off-ice exercises. All right, now for exercise number two. So you still might be a little bit puffed from the first exercise, but that's okay. Now, in our second exercise that we're gonna do, we're gonna do some lunges. And I'm actually gonna turn my body because we're gonna gradually get harder with these lunges. The first one, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our body, we're gonna do a step back and knee up. As you can notice, I'm stable on that foot. I haven't moved at all. The second one, we're gonna kind of rock through the toe just a little bit. So we're gonna go back and a little rock. So it's just a baby one, just to warm that ankle up. And the third one is where we're gonna explode into the air. So we're gonna go up, back, and then explode as much as possible trying to get up into the air. Because that's the main focus of our, of, with our off ice is that we're constantly working on big exploding up into the air that when we get on the ice, it's so much easier. So let's go. Okay, now we're ready to begin. Now, what you're gonna see me do is I'm gonna do one leg all the way through and then switch to the other leg and that will be our first set. So I'm gonna start off and I'm going to be doing all the work through my right leg and my left leg is gonna be the one going back. So again, I'm gonna show it from different angles. The first set is gonna be just directly facing you. So let's go. So we're gonna go with the left leg up. We're gonna go back one, two, small. The last one, three. Good, now we're gonna immediately change and go back again. So this is one, now a little jump, two, then the big one up and pull. Just remember we want those different levels and trying to get down, making sure in this exercise that our knees are over our toes, making sure that we're not rocking out where our knee is not directly over our toe. That's something really important that I want you to work on. And the other one is using our arms. Get those arms to help you lift into the air because by now, if you're like me, my legs are already burning. So I want that um, the arms to really help me to get up into the air. 
Okay, now we're ready for that second set. And the first one, I kind of talked you through it and I was a little bit slow. This one, I'm not gonna say anything. I might point out some reminders, but I wanna be a little bit more silent. That way we're working through the exercise a bit faster and we're really focusing on our legs and using those arms. So here we go. Again, I'm gonna balance on my right leg first. Feel free to do the other leg. It's completely up to you. So we're gonna go balance and here we go. And this is one, two, three. Then again, other leg, one, small, and three. And there you go, that's our second set. Now on to our third. All right, now we're ready for that third set. We're gonna double it up this time because I love a good challenge. So you're gonna see me go right, left, right, left. Because there's nothing more fulfilling than feeling that your body's been really worked. So again, you're gonna see it from a different angle. I'm gonna start out balancing on my right leg. So we're gonna go, and this is one, little jump, big jump, step, and up, little hop, big hop, and step. Little one, big one, last, and up, you can do it, push, and big. And there you go, that is our second exercise. Okay, now we're ready for the third and final exercise. And with this exercise, it's all gonna be about balance and control. No fast movements, because we've already done two exercises that just really killed our legs, working on that quick, powerful movement up. And now this one, it's time to just breathe a little bit and focus on our core, nice and strength, and lifting our legs. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna lift our legs front, side, back, and then repeat on the same leg, front, side, back, and then switch to the other leg. Focusing shoulders back. I'm gonna put my hands on my hips, but you feel free. You can put them out, hold them here for a bit more challenge or here. But I'm going to start with hands on my hips. So let's begin. I'm going to balance on my left foot and then put my right foot in front. Again, I'm gonna focus on a bit of a turnout so that my hips not rolling in. Even when we go to the side, a little bit more of a turnout holding and then back picking the leg up, trying to get really back behind my body and not too much to the side. So let's get started. Here we go. Pulling up, take a nice deep breath in and out. And here we go. Front, side, and then we're gonna go back and then repeat again. Front, side, back. Now switch your legs. Front, side, back, Whoop. and front, side, back. And that is our first set. We will be doing two more sets of those. So how's that body feeling after the first set? Hopefully you have that strength to keep going and then let's finish these last two sets. Again, now with this one, it's a little bit more challenging to keep the leg flowing, but that's what we want. You saw me on the first set fall over just a little bit. So what we wanna make sure that we do is, again, I'm focusing on my strength of my stomach, pulling up through my back leg, back muscles, and just letting my leg work. So here we go. We're gonna go one, two, three, and then again, one, two, three. Now lifting our left leg, front, side, back and again front side back again I'm just doing two you know right two left but if you find that that's too easy please up it really challenge yourself okay now we're ready for that third and final set so let's go because I know that we have the strength and the power to finish up nice and strong shoulders pulling back I'm gonna focus on squeezing my tummy and my back muscles and here we go one, two, three, again. One, two, three, switch your legs. One, two, three, again. One, two, three, let's challenge ourselves again. One, two, three, again. One, two, three, step. One, two, three, and one, two, three. Great job. I know I threw an extra set in there, but I want you to realize that you can push your body sometimes. Sometimes we think, oh, we can't do it. No, you absolutely can. And if you can build your mental strength to know that your body can push through anything, when you're almost at the end of your program and you're like, oh my gosh, my legs are so dead, I can't do that last jump. No, you can do it because you've been training your body off the ice. You are ready for this. 
All right, there you have it. That is your 10 minute leg workout. Now, know what you're thinking, Stacy, that was longer than 10 minutes. Yes, it definitely was because I definitely stopped to have some breaks and I also talked through the exercises. But what you wanna do is keep one exercise moving, rolling right into the next exercise. Just remember, on your skating journey, you might find that you're just starting out. So take the exercises, dial them back, listen to your body. Or you might go, I'm stronger than Stacy. I can increase a little bit more reps. Please do that. You always wanna make sure that you're really working your body. You know, you feel your legs work after an exercise. That way you know you are getting stronger. If you're not feeling anything, just up it a bit more. Add another set to it. So it's completely up to you and what you wanna do. But try to, the goal is try to keep it in that 10 minute mark. That way you really feel your legs work. All right, thanks for watching Next Edge Tutorials and looking forward to seeing you in our next lesson.